the insects, the first animals ever to fly. But how did they sprout wings? Well, one idea is that it's all because insects love to sunbathe. Insects are cold-blooded. They need heat from the outside to warm themselves up and move around. They often bask in the sun, and maybe in the past, one bug developed small flaps on its back to help soak up the rays, like mini solar panels. Purely by chance, these panels may also have helped the insect to be carried by the wind. Perhaps the panels then evolved into a more aerodynamic shape, eventually becoming wings. But there's a flaw in this theory. Insect wings have complex hinge joints, worked by muscles and tendons. Could they really have evolved from those simple fixed panels? There is another explanation as to how flight began. It all started not in the air, but in the water. Many insects spend the first part of their lives submerged. They breathe through gills, pumping them up and down to take in oxygen. It's thought it was gills like these that gradually turned into wings. But how could such a dramatic change take place? One insect living in the rivers of North America holds a clue. Stonefly larvae spend almost a year underwater, then emerge in late winter to start their adult lives. The adults live just a few days, and their sole purpose is to breed. But to find a mate, they have to make a death-defying crossing to the shore. Their wings are far too weak to fly but they do make good sails. Perhaps this is how flight began. An ancient insect waved its gills to catch the breeze and set sail, just like stoneflies do today. Gills already had the joints and muscles to flap up and down and could then have evolved from sails to wings.